Hi, this is Nick from Canawell, coming at you guys from our office in Vaughan, Ontario. We're going to be making a video today uh, about the TIG ACDC 201 Paul D. Now, I know you guys have seen some videos about this before, but this one is going to be specifically about changing from using your thumb-controlled TIG torch to using your foot pedal. Uh, because it's very simple, you just unplug this and you plug in the foot pedal, but then some of these parameters are things that you're going to want to change in order to get that foot pedal to work properly. So. Lately I've been getting some questions about this, we've been selling a lot of this particular setup, so I wanted to make this video just to show you guys what you need to change to make your foot pedal run right. So stick with me, we're going to zoom in real close so you guys can see how I change all the values, and then we're going to run through it, and uh, that'll be it. Hopefully it helps you guys out. Okay, so here we got the TIG ACDC, and right now it's set up to use thumb controls. So when I hit this button, you're going to hear the gas flow, and this will probably spool up too. There we go. So the settings I was using with the thumb controls was half a second pre-flow of gas, three seconds of upslope, 150 amps maximum, five seconds downslope, and three seconds of post-flow of gas. I'm also in DC and I'm in four-step mode. So now I want to switch over and I want to use the foot pedal. We're going to have to make some changes. So first thing we're going to do is put this torch down. We're going to unplug the pin connector for the torch. Take that out. We don't need it no more. We are going to get the pin connector for our foot pedal, which is right here. And now we're going to plug this in. You may have noticed that the amperage went all the way to five. Don't be alarmed, it's supposed to read that way because five is the lowest amount of amps that you can use, 200 being the maximum. So when the pedal's all the way up in the off position, it's gonna read five. But we're not ready to use our foot pedal yet. It's not quite that simple. We're gonna have to go ahead and we're gonna switch from four-step mode into two-step mode, right? That's gonna be important for using our foot pedal because if you use it in four-step mode, in theory, you would have to press the pedal all the way down, release it, then weld, 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 then press it all the way down, release it to turn it off. And that's not how a foot pedal is supposed to work. So two-step mode is what you want. Let's go back to our other settings here. I'm going to leave my pre-flow of gas because I'm fine with that. But here I have my upslope. Now, if I'm using a foot pedal, that's going to allow me to roll into my weld and to roll out by controlling the heat. I don't need to worry about upslope anymore. So I want to set that value to zero and lock it in. Next we're going to move over to the amperage. Now I'm not entirely sure what the right amperage is for what I'm going to be welding, but because I have this lovely foot pedal, I don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to crank this all the way up to 200 and then I'm just going to use my eye and the pedal to control my amperage. And see as I slowly depress it, and let it go. So that way, using my eye and the feedback that I get visually, I'll be able to use the foot pedal and control the heat. So there's no more need for me to worry about upslope. So amperage is set to 200 because I'm feeling bold. Downslope is something else we're not going to have to worry about anymore either because I'm going to control that again with the foot pedal. So don't bother with that. Let's turn it off. Whoops. Post flow of gas, three seconds. Well, I still like that. So that's fine. Boop. All right, so just to double check. Good, zero, 200, zero, three seconds. All right, I'm happy with that. Now we're ready to begin welding with the foot pedal. So just don't forget, keep it in your mind that that foot pedal is replacing the need to do your upslope, your downslope, your hot start, whatever. So make sure that those values are set at zero but most importantly, make sure that you're set into two-step mode before you try to use your new foot pedal. So that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, I hope I answered any of the questions for you guys. And if you have any further questions about the foot pedal or the TIG ACDC or any of our other products, feel free to reach out to us. You'll get put in touch with me and I'll answer your question directly. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, if you're into it, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't forget to give us a like on the videos and a subscribe if you haven't. And we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks a lot for watching.